Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and there is some good news about Season 23, because it looks like Apex Legends and Respawn are starting to take the cheating issue a little bit more serious, and it seems like they might also be helping out the console system with all the teamers going on as well. At least, that is what they are reporting. We're going to go over what might actually be changing. We're also going to go ahead and give out one of the upcoming Pathfinder Prestige skins on October 15th. All you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill, but without further ado... Let's talk about what Apex Legends' new plan of attack is. So Apex Legends has always had one really big problem, and well, they are addressing it a little bit more as of recent, however, this season has also been really bad, and that's the fact that, well, cheating seems to be plaguing the game. Now they did give us some anti-cheat stats this season, letting us know that they're banning about 100,000 players per month, and overall, they're stepping up the anti-cheat. They even went ahead and added some new policies where they're continuing to deploy new additional external tech this week that further expands on the work that they've already been doing to combat bad actors. This was something that actually went ahead and caught crosshairs and other third-party systems that were put onto PCs. And they did mention that thing about bad actors. It's unsure right now if they're catching actual cheaters or there's a lot of false bans also going out. As people are saying, the anti-cheat is permanent people who have played since day one for no reason. Respawn hasn't responded to any of that yet, so we don't know if that's true, but it does seem that they are trying to expand their anti-cheat. And while that is great for PC players, console players have still been plagued by teamers, and it is at an all-time high. This season is no different in ranked, and this goes all the way back to February, where Apex Legends players were claiming that console ranked is literally unplayable due to this issue. Well, Connor Fords did actually go ahead and put out a new tweet saying, been a busy week, got a lot done with Red Spooter, who I, I don't know who that is, but okay. Sipping on Teamers Tears right now, ready for the weekend to turn into my true form, which could finally indicate that Teamers are actually being handled in Apex Legends. This is actually backed up by Yorosuke, who said something recently about how they are finally figuring out a way to combat this. He said it on Discord, but now that Connor Ford has said something, this does seem like something that they are trying to do. In fact, Connor Ford also put out another tweet that they're hiring for a new lead senior security engineering role, meaning that they're trying to roll out new things to go ahead and fix the cheating epidemic in Apex Legends. And it's nice that console players are finally being heard because yeah, it's been really, really bad and almost unplayable. That being said, the question is, well, is this actually gonna fix the issue for the long term? The big issue with Apex Legends and cheating, and it plagues other games that are similar, is that it is a free-to-play game. Fortnite falls under the same thing, and the problem is that once you get caught cheating, well, you can just go ahead and create a new account at no cost whatsoever and then continue to cheat. And you might say, well, they lose all their stuff, but it's been shown in the past, such as the ALGS Hacker Destroyer 2009, they just hack the tournament games for fun. They don't necessarily care about all the accolades that come with it, especially because at some point they probably are expecting to get banned. They also like to go ahead and do it because, well, they like to frustrate content creators and kind of just get some kind of self-worth out of cheating. Don't really know why, but I mean, I guess everyone is different and has something that they are trying to do. So what is going to be the end game solution? Because you can go ahead and ban all these teamers and put in new anti-cheat updates, but if people are gonna just continue to do it regardless, that doesn't really fix the issue. The game director, Steven Ferreira, has even acknowledged the fact that the issue of cheating and competitive integrity are at the forefront of their minds, but the fix is not as simple. They don't want to just do a band-aid fix, they want to commit to a long lead time initiative that would act as a more permanent solution. One of the easiest ways to do this, and we talked about this the other day in a video, is updating the engine because, well, the engine is actually part of the problem with the cheating epidemic in Apex Legends. Back when the ALGS hack happened, Tom Warren put out a tweet that said he doesn't think the Apex Legends hack is related to easy anti-cheat. It's far more likely to be a source engine exploit as this goes way back to Titanfall and other games like Counter-Strike where if you can go ahead and cheat on those games, it's very easy to port and make one for Apex Legends because the cheaters and those that make the cheats are pretty familiar with it. However, getting that upgrade is not likely. By the way, there was some confusion about me saying that I would like to see the game ported over to Unreal like a whole new code made, which I wouldn't be opposed to. That's definitely not gonna happen. The biggest thing would probably be something where they go ahead and make a Source 2 similar to Counter-Strike. Obviously, EA would have to pay Valve a ton as it's not publicly accessible to other developers. However, that's also not likely to be the case as Evan Nikolic said that it wouldn't be that simple as just moving it over to Source 2 either because, well, the engine they use is a heavily modified Source engine and that while they are changing the engine technology in so many ways and will continue to grow the engine to serve the needs of Apex, there's no plans to integrate Source 2 at this time, which is a bit of a bummer because once again cheaters are just going to be able to find ways to exploit this old engine the way they have done with other games that use it as well 
and they are very quick at figuring this out as soon as we got ranked rumble someone was able to actually go ahead and just ruin the leaderboard being number one by cheating and never actually got caught or received any kind of issue at least not that was publicly made and the guy was actually on console there's been a ton of great community ideas i actually like this one that was posted on reddit where they actually said that they should go ahead and do some metrics where your time to kill is below one second or whatever the data is telling the devs here that's obviously cheating if your headshot ratio is five to one you are cheating other than that it's going to be a cyber security war and diet fans points out that that's pretty much what battlefield for anti-cheat and cheat detection works and they actually work pretty well which is surprising because you would think that because well ea owns battlefield that was something that they would try with apex legends but again we run into the same issue where if you go ahead and ban based off those metrics the players are just going to create a new free-to-play account you can go ahead and tie in phone numbers or make the ranked requirement to get in a little bit higher but i don't know the long-term solution i don't know what respawn could actually do at this point based off the fact that it's a free-to-play game and they're not going to modify or upgrade their engine to combat these bad actors slash cheaters in the game i hope that season 23 has finally tackled the issue but we're just going to kind of have to wait and see all that being said let me know what your guys' thoughts on how you would fix the cheating problem in apex legends and if you think that they're actually going to go ahead and fix all these things that they say they are doing but without further ado we're going to play some community clips remember to follow me on thornton smash on twitter where you can submit your clips and i'll throw some at the end but without further ado let's get into it behind you if you want to use my fucking thing. He's hiding behind, he's just hiding. You could fake the revive for a second. Ah! Oh, I got it, we traded. We fucking oh, traded. <laughs> Box three, we will clear. Back to Bogey's shield. Let me know down below. Are you guys excited about the fact that they might finally be attacking the cheating slash teaming epidemic? Or do you think that this is just more words and that not much is actually getting done? Also, don't forget to check out this video right here by my editor, Novell, who does amazing Apex Legends content. And until next time, everyone, keep slaying in the Outlands. I'll see you out there.